Okay, so for the second side of homework 18, maybe not question 10, and maybe not question 15, but everything else looks like two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Keep going and keep going. But now there's three basketballs here. Okay, so ignoring the two, number 10 and number 15, if you choose to make this pink and this pink, then this pink and this pink, 90 degrees is the box and it's pink and 16X minus six is pink, which means they are equal to each other. When you add six to both sides, you will end up with 16X equals 96, but 16 actually goes into 96 six times. So you are done with number 11. In number 12, if you say the bow tie is here and the bow tie is here, the bow tie is here, the bow, both of those labels, the 12X minus four and the 10X plus 10 are both shaded in orange. So they have to be equal. So 12X minus four has to be equal to 10X plus 10. When you subtract 10X from each side, you end up with 2x minus 4 is equal to 10. But you're not done. You have to add 4 to both sides to get 2x is equal to 14. And your last step, when you divide, you get the x value to be the number 7. Now we're going directly to number 13, bow ties. Here's one. Here's the other. The labels are actually white bow tie, white bow tie. They're the same color, therefore they are equal to each other. And all you have to do is subtract 112 from both sides to figure out what X is, but use a calculator because 105 minus 122 is negative 17. Oh, why did I write 122? I'm sorry, that said 112, I wrote it wrong. Negative seven is your answer. So you're just solving for what X is. Now when you look at number 14, you have blue bow tie, blue bow tie, blue bow tie, blue bow tie. Well, the 110 is white and the 19X minus four is white, which makes them equal. 19X minus four is equal to 110. And when you add four to both sides, you're going to get 19X equals 114. But dividing both sides by the number 19, um, does that go in six? Six times, sorry about that. It definitely goes in six times. Now, number 16 is the next one I'm gonna do. I'm sorry that it is all crammed in at the bottom, but bow tie, bow tie, bow tie, bow tie. Do you agree that the 7X plus 14 is blue? And the 3X plus, I think that says one, I'm gonna to have to double check, is also blue. They're both the same color bow tie, which means they are actually equal to each other. And I have the numbers wrong, but I see them here. The 7X plus 14 has to equal the 8X, I think it says plus six, yes. And unfortunately, I'm at the very, very bottom of the board. But if you subtract 7X from both sides, you're gonna get the number 14 equals X plus six. I ran out of space, but if you subtract six from both sides, you will end up with an answer of X equaling eight. And that's the answer for number 16. Now there are two questions left that I did not go over. A couple of things that you should know. In question number 10, they're asking for, I think, 
Oh, I thought that this was what they were asking for. I'm sorry. They're just asking for this angle up here. And number, let me just make sure I have this correct. Number 15, they just want to know what X is. Okay. So for this, um, regardless of what you see, if you ignore this line, it's there. But if you ignore it, basketball, basketball, basketball. I know there's still that line. But look what happens. Your bow tie, your bow tie. Your bow tie, your bow tie. Your bow tie, your bow tie. The 117 is a white bow tie, but the letter X was an orange bow tie. So it really had nothing to do with that extra line. You had to know that they were not the same color, so you have to add them and set it equal to 180. So when you subtract 117 from both sides, make sure you use your calculator, you will end up with an X value of 63. Now, same thing is gonna happen in problem number 15. There's that extra line in number 15. You can kind of pretend that you don't see that extra line. I know it's there. But if you start here and say bow ties from the basketballs, and this one is red, and this one is red, and this one is red, and this one is red. Both of these are a clear white bow tie. So even that line being drawn does not affect that. They have to be equal to each other. So 11x minus 2 is equal to 130. And if you add 2 to both sides, you get 11x is equal to 132. And then you have to divide both sides by 11. And it does go in evenly 12 times. And that takes care of homework 17.